Europeana was started four or five years ago to bring together the cultural heritage of the big institutions in Europe, the galleries, museums, archives, uh, audiovisual collections, uh, libraries, in order for the user to be able to access that material. It's being referred to by the Wikimedians at the moment as the super glam, so galleries, libraries, archives and uh, museums. And the way it's worked is to aggregate material from those different institutions, to take them in through domain-based aggregators or through national uh, portals such as Kultur.fr, etc. etc. Um, it's got to the point now where there are 90 million items accessible via uh, Europeana. Um, still distributed so the content stays in the institution itself and you as an individual can go in, do a search and, and find it. It's really moving in the right direction so it's pulled all this stuff together and we're now working on putting the information out so we're working on distributing it, on user engagement and on facilitating the knowledge that, that comes uh, with it. Uh, so all of the work that we've done on copyright, the work we've done on interoperability, on data models, on linked open data and the like. And I think the, the copyright issues are probably one of our thorniest issues, actually getting people to release their metadata as freely accessible under a CC0 licence um, has taken us quite a long time and we're still battling to, to make sure that that happens. The aim being that then anybody can reuse that data. They can make new things with it, you get indirect creative industries coming out of it, it can be used in mobile applications, it can be used in all sorts of uh, different ways and in different uh, websites. Um, copyright itself is causing problems because even digitising the material in the first place, which is the lifeblood of, of Europeana, is problematic, particularly in areas such as audiovisual material. So we've got 19 million items accessible, but only 2% of that comes from the audio and visual uh, archive uh, collections. And that's largely due to copyright um, issues. It's in copyright, but it can be out of distribution. Uh, you have to clear so many rights in order to make it digital, to even be able to digitize it in the first place, that people um, balk at the idea of, of being able uh, to do so. Uh, and I think the other area that is maybe interesting from Cultivate's point of view is looking at the ethical issues that surround this content and if you like um, access to your cultural heritage being a, a human right, uh, how do you ensure that you're not abusing that in any way, um, how do you make sure it's as open as possible to everybody, how do you cater for uh, a Muslim audience and a Jewish audience um, and the uh, non-ecumenical audiences, how do you make sure it works for school children as well as how do you make sure it works for, for adults. So we have um, a working group working on some of these issues and how we ensure this is openly accessible for everybody forever um, and into the future.